Um, it's real difficult to deal with, especially now in a time where we almost need everybody. And then, like, guys such as Marco, I mean, Marty, like you said, was playing a little bit. Uh, and we were starting to get a good feel from Marty, like, as a person, really. And, you know, people had to make the best decisions for them and wish them the best of luck. We just got to move forward. Just in the time I saw you interacting with Marty on the court, I could tell you really liked him, not right. just as a teammate, but, but personally. What did you like about Marty? Uh, he was just different. Like, he, he was real quiet, but it was like a quiet that you like you have to like. Like, anytime you see him, you kind of just smile because he's so quiet and you don't know what you're going to get from him. And I know, I mean, I, I'm going to miss him, honestly. Tyler, what, what did you like about Marty? Um... He's just a funny, he's, he's like JB said, he's quiet, but he's a funny dude. He's funnier than what he looks. <laughs> like, he's funnier than what he looks. He yeah. talks more than what he looks like, but I mean, it's always funny when you say something. Yeah, so, and just how he always brought it all the time and on the court and stuff. He's just a competitive person, and I like that about him, too. Tom, what are the last couple of games been like for you? Felt like getting, you know, getting, the, getting the show you can do? Um, it's been good, but, um, you know, I've just always been ready. I've always been focused and stuff. So it's just getting in and just just playing, basically. You know, doing what we're here to do. When you came into this program as a walk-on, you know, what was your goal? What kind of things were you trying to accomplish to go to the court? Um, I just wanted to be a part of a team, a winning program, and uh, I feel like that this was the place to be. So I just feel like I could come here and you know work hard and contribute to the program as much as I could. What do you guys feel like maybe you've learned over the past couple of games, you know, against UAB and then all that you guys can put into use against Marvel? Execution. Both of those teams executed their stuff real well. Mm -hmm. And you know, for teams that, you know, been together as long as UAB and Middle Tennessee, you know, those guys kinda, you know, got a good feel for each other. And you could tell on the court. And you know, that's something that we could take going through the rest of the season. Like we really gotta know each other and know how to play with each other. Marshall scores about 88 points a game. How are you going to go there and try to stop Once trying to hold them from shooting it so much, like, I think they, like, shoot the ball really well. So, you know, kind of run them off the line, I guess. You know, I don't really know what Coach's plan is right now, but whatever it is, like I just said, we just got to execute whatever the plan is for us to win. They could be beat. What do you like about the way Tyler plays when, when, he, gets, when he gets in the game? You said Tyler? Yeah. What, uh, what do you like about the way he plays? I love the way Tyler plays because Tyler does stuff that, you know, in my mind I would do. You see what I'm saying? Like, he plays hard, just as hard as anybody on the on the court. I think, like, the first time he got in, like, he got, like, a big rebound and hit his head and he was just landing on the floor for a second. And he just hopped up. I was like, yeah, you're in the game now. You want to hop up. <laughs> and it just shows that, you know, once you work so hard for a moment, you see what I'm saying, once so hard to get in, like, you don't really want to get out, and I respect the rule for that. You seem to have been comfortable with the team, you know, before you were advancing the game. Now you're mm -hmm. a little bit more comfortable now that you're in there and helping produce. It's always been a family to me. Like, I feel the same, like, you know, whether I'm getting minutes or if I'm not, you know, just, like, my basketball team is my family, so especially when we're away from our family, so it just keeps us together. Doing a, doing a story about Junior, I guess for each of you guys, just, just what do you like about him as a teammate and as a person? Junior? Mm -hmm. Junior's got, he got a certain type of leadership, you know, that we needed for this team. Like, Junior's a fifth year senior, and that's something that we need. Like, guys who been to the tournament, guys who play with other guys who, you know, are pros. He, he know how to handle himself and conduct himself as a pro. And that, that shows when you, like, trying to be a leader of a team, like how we carry ourselves individually. You know, it kind of shows on Junior and people like Pancake and, and Q, those men, the older guys. Same question for you, Tyler. What, what do you like about him and his leadership? Yeah, he has that professional, you know, demeanor about him where everything's a business. And um, he just brings it all he got all the time. And, and you can see it out there on the floor when he's playing. He just gives it all he has. And uh, that's something big that we take from him a lot. Tyler, it's a team game, but what's the most important thing individually you're trying to do with the opportunity that you're getting with your increased playing time? Individually, I'm just, I just feel like I'm out there to work hard, do all the do all the dirty work, some would say, but that's what I see that needs to be done in the, to win a game. So um, just doing all those things, you know, taking charges, getting deflections, rebounds, you know, different stuff like that. 
we could kind of similar to what I could ask you before the previous game and the previous game before that and the previous game. Talk about Old Dominion, UAB, <laughs> Middle Tennessee. Marshall, you know what you guys got to bring. <laughs> I mean, are you – is it just confirming the level of play that you guys have to bring to the court and, and the quality of opponents you're facing? Um, one thing we kind of we have to do is we gotta we just gotta step up, like in big games. Really, we just gotta step up. And if we do that against Marshall, I don't feel without a doubt that we could beat them. Like I feel like they're a pretty good team, and I understand that they shoot the ball well. I feel if we came and played the way that we know how to play, and flashes that we have had before, well, we could beat them. Maybe just a little bit of background. You played at 22 Foot Academy. How did that kind of prepare you for playing Division One basketball? Uh, it was a lot of high-level competition. Uh, every game and uh, traveling, seeing a lot of different, you know, players and places, and it was just a good experience to get you ready. Like some people that I play against now, uh, like we played against Justin back then. So, like it's just building relationships and stuff. Anything else for these two? All right. Thanks, guys.